This is the third experiment, hybrid T. That is a block diagram in our manual. This is the load. Here there is a four ports are here. This is the port one. This is the port two. This is the E port, and this is the H port. Here two ports we are connected to the match termination, and in the remaining two ports, one as an input port, other one as an output port. And remaining two ports we are connected to the match as your load, match termination as your load. Like that, we change all the ports. Like the stapler column, these are all the input ports. These are all the matched ports. These are all the output ports, and these are all the idle condition readings. We are supposed to get like this. And after readings, we can we are going to see in the experiment. This is the E port. This is the H port. This is port one. This is port two. With the help of the observed readings, we can do the S matrix calculation. Is there that you can do? Setup is like earlier experiments. You have done the circulator isolator and direction coupler without your procedural load. Initially, you set your bench at 0 dB reference. That is at 30 dB scale. Tuning points are same thing. Whatever you have done in circulator isolator and direction coupler, you set it at modulation and do the tuning of the frequency, amplitude, and repeller voltage properly, and set it here. 0 dB. Finally, with the help of variable alternator, and set it in the 30 dB scale without any load. We set our reference 0 dB and remove the waveguide and connect to the your procedural load is the magic T or EHT or hybrid T. These three names are common. Now, in this experiment, two loads are there. That is the Two match terminations here. Suppose to connect. Connecting H port as a match termination. I fix it properly. And E port also. I am going to connect match termination. See the proper hole matching. Do it like this. to the two output mean detector mount we connect towards to the second port of vh port vht Yeah. 
it will stand like this. Now we connect the input port to us to the one. Without any gap, you hold or you fix it to your input port and you connect your SWS to us to the one to two. It is minus infinity. It is exceeding more than 10 dB in 30 dB scale. See here reading you observe 10 plus 6. Reading is at 6. In 30 dB 10 is over. In 40 dB scale you observe the 6. 10 plus 6 it is the 16. Minus 16 dB you are observe port 1 as a input, port 2 as a output. E port is the match termination and H port is the match termination. You are observed reading 1, 2, 2. EH is the match ports, idle condition reading minus infinity and practical reading you observe minus 16 dB. This is the reading where you observe in the experimental link. Now I am going to connect one as an input and a H as a output. I am going to do this part. One as input, H H is output. Now according to your procedure, earlier we, we see the 1 to 2, we got it the minus 16 dB. Now 1 as an input here and H as an output here. Now this is the H port, I connect as output and E and 2 I connect to the match terminations. E and 2 I connect to the match termination. According to ideal condition you are supposed to get minus 3 dB. And your practical reading also we got the minus 3 dB. Minus 3.2 dB is there. It is uh, according to your uh, idle condition reading it is matching. Like that if you change remaining ports you are supposed to get same readings. All in idle condition minus whatever minus 3 dB you are supposed to get same readings you are supposed to get. In minus infinity readings you are supposed to get more or less 16 dB. This is the PhD experiment. With the help of these parameters, you can calibrate your S matrix.